All right, so we're at Still Hill Brewery. This is in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Yeah, it's 11 a.m., so it's a little early, but I got a special guest for you. Let's go. So I'm with Scott, uh, CEO and head brewer here at Still Hill Brewery, and um, you got you got a treat for us today. So what is this exactly? What are we I, having? We're drinking Mad Herding Skill. It's a little early in the day. We have a lot to do, so it's a perfect beer for now. It's a dark English mild. So milds are the original session beer. Um, it's only 3.7 percent, low alcohol, very tasty for a beer that has such low alcohol content. As you can see, it is pretty dark. Yeah. Uh, milds can range from pale to uh, a dark amber or light brown. Um, has a ton of flavor to it. You know you're drinking a beer, but it's not gonna put you under gotcha. an empty stomach at this time of the day. So well, cheers. let's go for a chase. Cheers, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, very sir. tasty. It's got a and ton of flavor. Yeah, and it's smooth. It's also light though. Like yes. it does have a light characteristic yeah. to it, but it's got that like dark multi taste to yeah. it. But like it's it's also light and it's creamy. It's delicious. This is really good. Yeah, it's a it's a very very easy drinking beer. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. And if you want to drink a bunch, this beer will do it for you. Oh, yeah. It's not going to lay you flat on your back. And it's um, it's not like super heavy either. You know, you, know, you look uh, you know you look at a beer like this dark, you're thinking, oh, it's probably going to be heavy, but it's really not. It's actually really light and smooth, and it's really good, delicious Thank beer. You. Thank you. What was the alcohol percent on this? Three point seven. Oh wow. It's yeah, exactly. That's it's crazy. Just, yeah. It's I would have never thought that. Um, it's that's a challenge always for brewers is to to get a lot of flavor into a beer that is low in alcohol. Yes. Um, you know. But milds are, they're a great beer. They seem to be gaining a bit in popularity and yep. people are starting to say, I'm tired of all the big ABVs. They still want them, but there's a time and a place. So yeah, yeah. we're trying to, to fill the niche for all beers. You know, I, I talk about that a lot on my channel, like especially when it comes to IPAs. When I drink an IPA, I really want that full body flavor. Yeah. That's why I like the hazy IPAs. Like, you know, so I feel like for me, my favorite IPAs are usually like the doubles. Okay. You know, some are sitting around the seven to eight percent because yeah. I just feel like they have a lot of flavor. I, I have rarely come across like a Sation IPA or like a very light IPA that's just, it, it's just not, it's, it's not doing it for me, you know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but there's like a mix of hoppiness, but it's light and it's just like, I don't know, I, ju I don't like that style of beer. It's gotta go either right. one way or the other. If I want something light, I'm gonna drink a lager or something like this. Yeah. This is very light, even though it doesn't look light. But yeah, like an IPA, it's, it's gotta be all or nothing for me. You we know? Gotta, <laughs> you gotta try our brilliance. Okay. Uh, we have, it's, uh, the baby brother, baby sister of our flagship, I Caved. Okay. Uh, I Caved is our first New England IPA. It's also our, our most popular beer at this point, and yeah. that's at 7.4%. So right yeah, in right, that, right, that's, right where you want, yeah. just short of a double um, at the high end of just a straight New England IPA. But um, there are times that you want all that flavor, um, but you don't want all the alcohol. So we develop brilliance. Okay. Um, so it's kind of a tone back version of I Caved. It comes in at 4.7%, wow. so just under five. A um, bit more than this mild. Yeah, yep. Uh, but it's got a ton of the flavor. It's got that hazy New England IPA. Uh, you don't give up a lot. It's a little, not as heavy a mouthfeel or as 
creamier mouthfeel, but it still has tremendous mouthfeel for a beer that's only 4.7. So I re recommend you give it a shot. I'll a definitely later. give that a try when I yes. come back here later for sure. Absolutely. So yeah, um, we are here pretty early. Uh, I came here to interview Scott and kind of take a look at the brewery before people were here. It's nice to get a shot of the place when there's not a lot of people. I will be back here when open hours. We're going to go through some beers. We're going to try some stuff. That's the whole thing too. Is it's all it's all about the the beer community for yeah. me. You know, like I, you know, I go to a lot of breweries. I like to meet a lot of people, and I'm actually trying to have it to where my Instagram and my YouTube is like where if I go out to a brewery, I want a lot of people to come. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I want to have like that community of oh, just yeah. meeting meeting everyone. Just you know, and and yeah. So I'm slowly I'm slowly getting to the point where people are starting to recognize me and awesome. everything. So it's, it's going pretty well. But that's I, what it is. It's all about the community. You this know, it's all about the I have not. I know some people love it. I have never done it. Um, I know Dave Wolner up at Willowbrew is a big disc golfer. Yeah. Um, one of these, I'm a regular golfer. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I gotta give it a shot though. I remember my days playing ultimate back in college. Yeah, yeah. it's 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 a fun sport. It really is. Um, I got into it just because it's cheaper. <laughs> like mm. <laughs> golf. Oh is god, expensive. hell yes. Golf is expensive. You know, hell for yeah. me to play disc golf, it's mainly free to go. And I mean, yeah, you can spend some money on discs, but like you know, when you first start, you can get like a starter pack for like forty bucks. You know, That's but not bad. but now I got a, I got my backpack. I got like thirty discs in there, custom dyed. Oh, so god. I spend money now on discs, <laughs> but I've been playing now for nine years but I have my collective pieces well but see if when you get to know brilliance you're gonna say I have a great beer to bring along on oh the discord God. because yes, you absolutely. can drink it all day and not you know still be able to see the uh, whatever it's called the hole or yeah the, yeah the, the, cage, basket. the basket yeah, we call it the basket the yeah basket. I appreciate you letting I, me thank come you here very and film. yeah I absolutely. appreciate it thank you, you. Know, thank you for everything you're doing for the industry and helping people learn about what's out there thank you yeah I appreciate it thank you Our very pleasure. much bye guys so the barley wine? Yeah, the barley wine. So probably two to three more months, maybe just need six months total aging. Um, maybe seven, but it's really coming together nice. That's gonna be up around 13 and a half percent, 14% when it comes out of the wow. anticipate. Yeah, big one. Big big beer. Uh, be fun. Oh that'll yeah. Go into, that'll go into glass. <laughs> so our this is our brew house where we do all the production. We run a 10 barrel system. Uh, we have three 20 barrel fermenters and a 30 barrel fermenter, and then a 20 barrel bright tank. Uh, currently, we have beer in all the tanks. What's going on, James? How's going? How are you? Um, he's doing the bulk of the brewing these days. Awesome. Um, he's got a really great touch with beer. So this is where we do everything, and then we have, of course, the small little baby one barrel tanks. Yeah, the little, uh, the SS tank. SS tank. Yeah, those are pretty cool. So before you like commit to like, you know, spending all the money for a full batch, you want to yeah. see how it comes out and everything. Yeah, and yeah we yeah. want to get a sense of, we have a concept of what it might taste like, but we want to try it out, see if we want to tweak it. Uh, we have one beer on tap that will make its way to production. It's called Rocky Hill Bitter. It's uh, an ESB and it's a really nice beer. We did one barrel of that, have it in the tap room, getting feedback from customers, uh, seeing how it's going. We have another beer that's gonna be coming online as soon as something kicks in the tap room, so probably uh, anywhere from a week to two weeks. Okay. It's an, a warm IPL, so uh, it's an India Pale Lager, right. but it's fermented warmer, so we're used, still using the lager yeast. Um, it adds some very interesting character to the beer. Uh, actually, while you were taking pictures, we were trying it, and it's uh, it's a great golf course IPL. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> India IPL. I keep wanting to say IPA, but it's an IPL. Yep. Uh, very crushable. Yep. Uh, definitely. So like IPA. a nice summer beer. Like It's a great summer yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. Very, very drinkable. Uh, fermenting uh, lager, a little warmer. You, you still know it's a lager, but you definitely get depth of character in it. Um, you know, start moving it towards an ale. But really nice beer. Yeah. Uh, he did a bang up job with that one. So that's one of the, uh, the beers we've got coming out. Um, and when do you think that'll be uh, released? Probably two weeks. Two weeks? Perfect, yeah. yeah. Um, so this is the brew house. Yeah. Uh, Industrial Yo, production yeah. facility. Yep. Um, nothing fancy about it. You know, we just sweat our butts off at this time of the year. And then, of course, the tap room. Um, yeah, this tap room, guys. This is look at the decorations in here. This is so cool. Look at the, 
So that's not even real wood, that's painted. He had an artist come and paint, and he was talking about how they set up the lighting and everything so they can grasp the, uh, the shadows. And for instance, that rope right there, look at the rope that he painted hanging there with the shadow, with the light. Yeah, that's really cool. Looks really good. He did a great job. So we're back at Still Hill Brewery, and this is one of their top selling beers. This is the Eye Cave. It's a 7.4 uh, New England IPA. Very hazy. Oh yeah, looks like orange juice. Let's go in for a sip. Ooh. Citrus and refreshing. I appreciate that you see I'm very busy. What's that? I appreciate that you see I'm very busy. I know, I guess I could add some excitement to your day, you know? I feel like you guys will get busy around 6.30. I think, you know, being Friday, you know, like, I don't know. I would technically still be working right now. I feel like most people get out of work at like 5.30, you know, I don't, I don't know what you do. I, clearly you must have a pretty good job. I'm, I don't really work till 5.30. Uh, you know what, it's a sad everybody's at vacation and stuff like that. Yeah. This is a really refreshing beer. This is super delicious. This is their new release. It's the um, Rocky Hill Bitter. It's the Rocky Hill Bitter, thank you. Extra, it's an extra special bitter. It's got a nice, nice color to that. It's uh, checking in at 5.7%. So yeah, let's go in for a sip. Ooh. Oh, so it's actually pretty similar to what I had this morning. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I gotta ask, is this like close to like a brown ale? Cause like, I feel like it's very similar to like a brown ale. It's similar, it shouldn't be as roasty. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not as roasty. It's a, it's a nice balance usually between malt and hops, hot bitterness. Yeah, yeah. Fine yep. Wow. Yeah, I wonder what the IBUs would be on this. You don't have to go look. <laughs> wow. That's a delicious beer. It really is kind of in the middle of being malty and hoppy. I feel like the hoppy is more of the aftertaste. Let me grab into a different service in this place. <laughs> Wait till Morgan comes out a little bit. So this is a light IPA. What is this called? This, uh, is, this the... is called Brilliance. Brilliance. And Brilliance. it's a session IPA? It's a session IPA. Se session. Yep. Session IPA. Session. Wait, yeah, cheers. There we go. See? Bluebird. <laughs> Okay. This has that like it's got it's light, it's airy, it's it's refreshing. It's light, it's airy, the, and refreshing. It's got the notes of the so, citrus and the mosaic in it. Yeah. So you get a little bit of the bitterness. Exactly. And like this isn't really like your typical IPA. When I think IPA, I'm thinking West Coast style or like that the heavy, fluffy, um New England style. New England style, IPA. right. But yes. like this is this is like very, very light. It gives you the best of both worlds. It does. So, it does. So you like, get you get less. Let's say, let's say on like a summer day, you know, you want to you want to crush some, but you don't want that heavy, fulfilling feeling. Yeah, right. You want something like this. So you yeah. get that lower ABV coming in, you know, just under five percent. Yeah. Um, but what it does is it's, it gives you that fruity, that flavorness. It's, it's full body. It doesn't overwhelm you. It doesn't ruin your palate. So yeah. you can have a few of these yes. and then move on to something else if you would like. Absolutely. This definitely does not ruin your palate. When you think so, if someone were to come up to me and say, hey, you know. I'm not a big IPA fan. Just I think this would be one for them to try. try. It's a I, good way to start out. Yes. yes, because I feel like people who don't like IPAs, they think, oh, that bitter hoppiness. Yep, you can start with something like this or even a, um, a, a pale ale of, of sorts. Um, something that could be a little bit fruitier, uh, a little a little hazier. I don't know what it's brewed with, but uh, it's yeah. It's got citra and mosaic in it. when I come in here and hang out. 
Yeah. Uh, Brian, being, being a regular here and getting hazed by the, yeah, the so, bartenders is not good. So you are a regular. Yes, I'm, I'm a regular here. So let's, yes. let's talk about you. You're um, Actually, you, you saw that Still Hill posted that I was coming here today. I did, yes. And you started yes. following me, which I did. is really cool. Like, this yep. guy is really cool for following me. Like, he's he's a legend to me. I thank you I thank you very much. Uh, um, anytime. But, yeah. I like um, following the, the, the up and coming. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. nice to see people trying to expand out on the knowledge of, of craft beer and, and sorts. Absolutely. And yeah. you're you're a mug you're a mug here. Show, yeah, show yes. him the mug. Yep. So the he's mug. a he's a mug fan here. So explain that. Like you um mug yep. here. So I get my own mug every time I come in. So I get a, a 20 ounce pour every time instead of a, a normal glass of just 60 ounce. Um I'm see I'm already out of the loop. <laughs> this guy I'm already out of the loop. Like a normal 16 ounce pour. Like dude, he's so, yeah. luxury. He's living luxury right but now. You get a 20 ounce pour. There's does, that, a, does, it, does it matter on the style of beer? Um, it does. It has to be below a certain percentage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense. You know, because obviously, yeah, just, you get like their barley wine at like 13 percent. They ain't gonna give that's, you. A, that's gonna be a problem. I'm, I am leaving my car here and we're Ubering home. <laughs> <laughs> responsible man. Yes, I like absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's gotta, all about gotta responsibility. Be, gotta be responsible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's fun to be a member. It's you know, it's a yearly membership kind of thing. You get your mug and uh, there's a lot of awesome incentives that come along with it. For and, sure. Uh, that's why I've been a fan of theirs since uh, I'm going on seven years now. Seven years you guys have been going here. Almost almost seven years. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, even though this is a very light IPA, it still has body to it. It's still got plenty of flavor. If I were to if I were to describe the flavor, I would definitely say it's more on the on the citrus fruity side. Yeah, you get a little bit of like a pineapple mango yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's kind of what like I, it's like a fruit cocktail yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, I'm definitely getting it. like a pineapple a pineapple taste to it. Like I said, I don't know what it's brewed, but I could be totally wrong. But I feel like with this IPA, you're getting more fruity sweetness than you are hoppiness. You know, you're not getting you're not getting a lot of hops with this, which is why if someone's not in the IPAs because they think that they're bitter and they're hoppy, you might want to start out with something like this. I yes. mean, this is this is very light, um, but it's, it's it's good. It's good. I'm not gonna it's, lie. Like it's, it's crisp. It's yeah. refreshing. Yeah. Well, hey man, I appreciate yeah. you coming out, dude. Absolutely appreciate awesome, it, dude. Thank you Sweet for having man. me on. I yeah, definitely. That. So this is their Wisen Up. It is a Heaven Wiser Wheat Ale. And I already had a sample of it and it was amazing, so I had to get a full glass of it. But like, look at the head of that. That was a perfect pour. Oh, dude. This is perfection for this style of beer. It's just that Hefeweizer like taste. It's, this brewery offers a lot of variety of beer. Yeah.